hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video features this kinky straight eye part wig from ilikehairwig.com this eye part wig is 18 inches long you don't have to worry about lace glue or leave out if you choose this wig features the true roots closure which matches the roots of your hair the eye part wig allows you to leave out 99 to 100% less hair than a U part wig. This wig has a 100% breathable cap, which has clips along the eye part, combs in the back, a band, and adjustable straps. So here I am trying on the wig. I was curious to see how well this kinky straight hair blends with my natural hair, which I have blown out. My first impression of the hair is that it is very full and the hair is very soft. So here I'm just going to show you guys what the hair looks like with my hair blended in. With this eye part wig you really don't need a lot of leave out and because I got the kinky straight wig you really don't need to straighten your hair to blend with this hair in its natural texture. So I wanted to see what this hair looks like in a wand curl style and I was also curious how well this hair curls. As you can see the curls came out very nice and defined. When curling this hair I decided to not curl the hair all the way to the roots. Um, one I wanted to leave some of that natural texture in the root area. One, because I wanted to be much fuller and I didn't plan on straightening my natural hair. So this is what the hair looked like once I finished wand curling it. Um, I think the curls came out really nice and as I said before, the hair is very soft. So I'm just going to give you a quick turnaround just to see how these curls turned out. Alright, so here I am ready to install this eye part wig. As I said before, I tried to leave some of the roots uncurled um, just so that it would blend better with my hair. Um, I'm not going to straighten my hair for this video, so I wanted to see how well this hair would match with my natural hair just in the blown out state. So this wig features five clips along the eye part. So here I'm just snapping the clips into place where I left some of my leave out and I'm just adjusting it in the back. So here's what the wig looks like on me. I really love the texture of this hair because it's soft, it's not super straight, and it mimics the texture of natural hair. Here you're just going to see me start to blend this hair with my blown out hair. Obviously this would be even more seamless if you straighten your leave out. With this texture you wouldn't even need to get your hair bone straight and you could get by with just a really good blowout. I think it looks pretty decent although I didn't straighten my hair. However, for today's style, I wanted to do two flat twists in the front. At this point, I've already twisted one side of my hair. To do this, I took some shining jam and I applied it along my edges. In hindsight, I probably should have used regular gel for better hold, but nonetheless, you just want to apply the gel and begin twisting your hair in with the wig. So here I'm just taking a couple of bobby pins to secure my twists and that's pretty much it. 
At this point, you can separate the curls and fluff the hair to your liking. I'm also going to take some gel and do my edges. So here is the final result. I love this style so much. This hair is beautiful and I was able to blend it with my natural hair seamlessly. If you are interested in this wig, you can use my code Kiera25 for an extra 25% off. Let me know what you think of this hair down in the comments and I'll see you next time.